All right, it's Jake Mace with Phoenix Longevity Arts. Now listen up, we got Chain Whip, which is a very difficult Chinese Kung Fu weapon. It's my favorite weapon, okay, Spear is a close second. But I love the Chain Whip, but for a lot of beginners who can't pick up the moves right away like second nature, this is very uh, uh, scary and daunting and it can be quite a task. So when you're using the Chain Whip, there's always the element of fear involved because that bullet-sized dart on the end could easily, any moment, come up and hit you in the face, this dart right here. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna toss this for a second. We're gonna use a string with a tennis ball attached to it. Any of you can put this together. It costs like 25 cents. I got this at the dollar store and you could just spin it the same length and the same techniques as the chain whip. So why don't you ask for a beginner level chain whip video um, to further explain the beginning level techniques of the whip, okay? So check it out. If I'm spinning it towards you, what I tell my beginners is, you want to first be focused on getting the whip spinning in a vertical manner because every technique with the chain whip is easier if the whip is spinning directly uh, vertical right next to my hip, right next to my leg, right next to my head. Okay, so like a longitudinal uh, spin. If I get it going like this diagonally, it's not going to work because um, the spin is off. Okay, I have to bring it back to a vertical path. Ready? From here, the first thing I show beginners is this spin, number one spin. Then on the other side of the body, number two spin. Then back and forth, like a nunchuck back and forth. Okay? Then number three spin is you let the string go under your armpit, and once it touches your armpit, you immediately turn to the other direction and then bring it back. Okay? So again, we're going forwards, number one spin. It's going to touch me in the armpit. I turn my torso and bring it back. Under the armpit, bring it back. Under the armpit, back. Under, back. Under, back. Then number four spin is under the armpit, but then instead of just bringing it back simply, I let it touch me in the tricep and I bring it back. Under the armpit, hit my tricep, bring it back. So under the arm, hit the tricep. The whole key to the chain whip is to turn your torso from side to side and be active in the body. If you're not active in the body, it's gonna like hit you and you're not gonna be able to spin it continuously. So under the arm, under the arm. I'm gonna turn it to the side so you guys can see. Let me turn this side, It'll be a little better. So from here, under the arm, under the arm. Under the arm, under the arm. Under, under, under. The other hand can be just in the chest so it's nice and safe. And this is what beginners do, what I show them. Just go under the arm, under the arm. But now, I show beginners how to finish, and when I finish with the chain whip, I wanna kill it. So what I do is, I step forward, I keep the spin going, I use my other hand, and I cradle it on my forearm, and then flip it up and catch the ball, or the dart, if you have a real chain whip. Okay, so again, from here, I'm gonna spin it under the arm, under the arm, under the arm, under the arm, then step forward, keep the spin going, kill it on the forearm, flip it up and catch it. Very calmly and very relaxed. What beginners usually do, which is fun for me to watch, is they, they kill it on the arm and they wrap it around their arm, okay? Or they kill it uh, on the arm and they fling it off too fast and it like hits them in the head, okay? Or they look like a fan at a baseball game catching a home run over the fence and they're like going back, like going back for it. Ah, oh, I got it. Okay, so you want to be calm and relaxed, nice and chill. So we're going to go one more time. I'm going to go under the arm, under the arm, under the arm, under the arm. Get the number three and number four spin going. And then step forward, keep the spin going, kill it, and very calmly fling it up and catch it kind of by your Don Tien. Okay? Like when I learned baseball as a kid, they taught us how to cradle the egg and catch it softly. Same idea with the, with the ball. So to recap, we got number one spin, number two spin, then we go back and forth. Number three spin is under the armpit and turn your torso and bring it back. Number four spin is under the armpit, turn your torso, then over the tricep and turn back right away. And the last number five spin is catch it on your forearm and kill it. And that way you'll always have control over your whip, okay? Take this string and the ball and practice this on your own and have some fun. Chain whip is a lot of fun.